These Mini Coopers are really fun to drive and they're great on gas. The reason why they're good on gas is they're so light. Check this out. That's the good thing about this car. Now let's talk about the top five problems. All right guys, you can let it down. Every vehicle has their problems overall. The ones on this second generation Mini Cooper are really not that bad and any of the parts you see we actually sell at 1AAuto.com. Majority of the problems are under the hood. Let's talk about the valve covers. Now you may notice some oil leaking in these areas, especially in the corners over here. You may notice some oil getting onto the exhaust. You're going to be driving down the road and you may even smell it, smell some oil burning and it's coming from the valve covers themselves. Now you may be able to get away with just replacing the gasket for the valve covers, but a lot of times the, they are made of plastic and they get brittle and they do warp sometimes. So sometimes it's easier just to replace the entire valve cover. Pretty simple job, nothing too crazy. You got to take some bolts out. There's 10 millimeter bolts around the perimeter of it. Take the coil packs out and do that. Under this cover, we're moving on to the coil packs. And there's four of them here. This is a four cylinder engine. When the coil packs fail, you're gonna notice some drivability issues. The engine will run rough. The check engine light may be on and it may also be flashing. These come out fairly easily. You just lift up on this and you can disconnect the connector right there. Grab the coil pack itself, just twist it back and forth a little bit, and it slides right out. This is what gives the spark plug its spark. When you're replacing coils, it's always a good idea to replace the spark plugs as well. Some of the reasons why the coils fail is because the spark plugs have been neglected, and the coils themselves are working harder just to get the job done. Next, we're going to talk about the VVT solenoids. There's one located next to the exhaust manifold, and there's another one located on the backside next to the intake manifold. The VVT solenoids are the valves that actually control the variable valve timing. They're controlled electronically with the computer. Some of the symptoms you're going to notice when the valves are failing, you'll probably get a check engine light on with a VVT related code but also you may experience some horsepower loss um, either in the low end while you're going at lower RPMs or even in the higher RPM area depending on how the valve has failed. One of the common reasons why these valves fail is lack of oil. Whether your vehicle is low on oil or you're not doing oil changes regularly, um, dirty oil can cause some issues but also if there's not enough oil in the engine the oil is not going to get to there and it's not going to be able to work properly and it's going to cause the valves to fail. Underneath the vehicle you can find some problems with the water pump. Most of the time you're going to notice coolant dripping on the ground or the engine overheating. The water pump is located in the passenger side wheel well. A little bit tight area to get to. And there's also a crossover pipe in the back that has an o-ring in it. Um, a lot of times those o-rings leak so a good thing to think about when you're doing the water pump you might want to do that seal at least if not the entire crossover pipe. And the last problem we're going to talk about is the door latches. You may find many different symptoms with the door latches failing. The doors may not open from the outside, they may not open from the inside, the door locks themselves may not unlock. Um, you may have to unlock them manually from the inside. So you may see some people fumbling around with these cars. If you see someone parking and opening the door from the outside, you know they probably have a bad latch. That's it for the top five problems on this Mini Cooper. Overall, not that bad, pretty easy repairs. And if you need any of those parts, make sure you click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. That's it for the top five on this Mini Cooper. <clears throat> I wanted to say Mini Cooper S. Overall, not that bad. If you enjoy it, ah, do it again. You looked up at me and it confused me. Okay, so you're in the collection of the door here. <laughs> Make sure that makes it in the cut.